Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Friday, December the 4th. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get into the room. Just enter with your email, and the room is open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm live on the mic between those two times. All right, uh, let me just click on something to get rid of my sound alerts. Okay, so... Uh, again, not too active for me today, but I did have one extremely good trade. Um, one early one. I don't often do early ones, but I did take this one, uh, N N S C. And this is one that's been in the news uh, recently. Uh, Canadian, this is a railway, and uh, Canadian Pacific was making a bid for them. And I guess the news came out that they have decided to reject the bid, which, you know, can obviously happens. Maybe they think that's uh, under undervalued, you know, all, all the all the normal stuff that you hear. And uh, when, when companies are, are being um, I, I, I don't want to classify this as an unfriendly, but I guess it's unsolicited. But anyway, the bottom line is, is that here's where it closed uh, yesterday. Come on. Let me make sure the. Uh... Okay, uh, here's where it closed yesterday, around $92, $92.69, and it fell all the way down to 86 So this was one that we were watching in the pre-market. Uh, you know, I always like to try to identify trades that I think might, uh, might actually have a big reversal in them. Now, you can see that it did, but uh, I also, uh, I actually didn't get into this on the reversal, but I actually got into it on the short. Uh, it looked pretty good to short, actually. It just kept going down and down and down. So I actually got into the short at uh, 87.43, right around here, right around here. Uh, and I exited, you know, it got all the way down here. I was hoping to make a dollar on that. Uh, didn't quite do that. And I exited at uh, 86.96. Sorry, it lags a little bit while I'm doing the video. And of course, I have Amnovia up and running. It just things start to lag. And then basically right back here. Now, unfortunately, I did miss all this. I should have, uh, I, I didn't quite find an entry. And these are five, 15 minute candles. And I didn't quite find an entry that I liked. And so unfortunately, I did miss the, you know, the, the juicy part of this move obviously was the bounce that I was really anticipating would happen. But anyway, uh, made some money on the on the short side of it. That was very early trade for me. I don't normally do that, but it just looked too good to pass up. Um, Vince was just a, a trade that made a little bit of money. I uh, got in here. This is one that I've been following. It was a, it was a, an AI alert a few days ago, so it was in a watch list. When it got over six dollars, I took the trade at uh, excuse me six twelve. Right on this candle here, sold some at 619, and I sold the balance just under my my uh, my buy. I think it was at 608. So no great shakes there, but here's the one that uh, really made my day was KMI. And let's just get a little bit bigger here. Okay, so KMI actually came on. An old, old strategy that I have, uh, it's a short strategy, it only gives me about one trade a day, and but it has some custom filters in it, uh, so please don't ask me for it because I can't copy them over. Um, and also, it doesn't, it really doesn't test out well that well in the odds maker. I mean, I do have to uh, look at a chart and all that, but I have noticed that in the last, uh, you know, last few weeks, it's, you know, one trade a day usually uh, works out very well. So this one, actually, I got the trigger at um what was the price here just go grab it again yeah it was at uh 1745 at just after noon just after 12 o'clock so 1745 maybe if i can just click on it maybe you know what i'll do i'll do this and then i'll do this so here is the candle that i ha that i got the alert on it 1745 so it was right there. Now it moved a little bit down. You can see 1736, but then it then it uh, it went all the way up here before it closed back down. And so I actually entered the trade at 1752. And look what happened. I mean, this was so so quick. And this is how this strategy used to work. It used to be incredibly quick. Look at this candle all the way down to 1654. Was hoping to get uh, a dollar. I needed 16.52 on the ask. I didn't quite get there, but 
bottom line is is that I sold in stages. I sold at 1717 uh, in case it didn't break down through the whole number. I sold at 1665 down here as it was uh, coming a little bit back up. And then I sold at 1699 just as it was looking like it was going to break up through the whole number of 17. So, but this was a very, very quick trade. I think it was, you know, I was in and out of that in five minutes, which, which is fabulous. I mean, you know, you get in, just wait, all I had to do was wait on it to see, uh, you know, the original alert was at uh, 1745. I just had to wait to see if this, you know, when it was bouncing up, would it come back down again? And when it did that, I decided to take take the short. And so turn it out to be a great, great trade. So it basically made my day. Now, the one unfortunate one was uh, S-I-E-N, which I actually, this was a swing trade for me. Um, I took I took it yesterday, right before the close. Uh, I took it right around, you know, on a five minute chart, you'd see it better. So let me just get to a five minute candle five minute chart and yeah you can see this little rbi got me in now i'll explain why i took the trade so i got in at 538 um it got as high as 555 555 552 and unfortunately um you know i didn't sell any up there now this is why i got into somebody asked me well why, why would i even consider taking this one and this is why i mean this obviously had some horrible news uh dropped been dropping 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 and we actually got an ai alert on it uh several days ago so it was in my watch list so yesterday when it broke above five i decided i really wanted to watch it and it, had, it was it was closing so strongly that i decided i wanted to take it so that's why i took it right here at 538 and you know but this is the void we're looking at now you know will it can it you know get get all its uh, losses back who knows i mean that's that that's the beauty of the market we really don't know but i thought that it had a, a decent shot especially the fact that it closed strongly yesterday and again this morning it looked really really strong let's go back to the five minute or get back to the 15 minute look really really strong and then it just started coming down. So I actually sold, I sold some in here and then I sold some just underneath the whole number. So disappointing. I will actually watch it though, uh, see if it can regain five. I don't know if this was news related or, you know, finally people, again, if you look at the daily, you know, it's come from down here, 292, $3. So was this finally, you know, the day that a lot of these people decided that they had to take profit. And so as it started coming down a little bit, you know, the selling just accelerated. Now, it may be some news that has come out. I really don't know. But uh, I will keep watching it. But this time it'll have to break 550 uh, for me to get back into it and maybe ride a little bit in into this gap. All right. That is it. And I am watching Hasbro, actually. I'm watching Hasbro right now. Uh, it's possible that I'm going to short this one. Um, take a look at it on the... Again, sorry for that. It just lags a little bit here. So I'm just kind of looking at this, seeing if it can break down through 68. Uh, this might be a short uh, short, short situation for me. Uh, so the market still has an hour and 45 minutes left in it. All right. Well, let me just back this out. Again, here's how to get into our room. And I hope everybody, I hope, has a great weekend. And I hope to see you in our trading room on Monday. Bye-bye.